Hello everyone, this is coadb.com or the Coat of Arms database and today we are briefly going to discuss around 10 different coats of arms in the stone family. Coats of arms in the British Isles were typically granted to individuals and not entire families or surnames. If you would like to know if any of your ancestors owned a coat of arms, please visit the link in the description and visit our website. We offer genealogy research services where we can trace your ancestry or family tree back several hundred years and we can determine whether or not your ancestors owned a coat of arms. The first stone coat of arms to discuss is blazoned as follows. Argent Alliant Passant Garden Sable. This coat of arms was born by William de Stone in the 13th century. Next is Or on a Fest Sable Three Plates. And this was found in Stone, County Devon, or Devonshire, England. Next is Argent Three Sincufoil Sable, a Chief Azure Crest, out of a Ducal Coronet Or, a Griffin's Head Ermine between a Pair of Wings Or. This was granted in 1515 in London, and it was confirmed nearly a hundred years later to Sir Richard Stone, Knight of Stuckling, and Sheriff of County Huntingdon. The next is Azure, three Sincufoils Argent, a Chief Ore. Crest, out of a Ducal Coronet Ore, a Griffin's Head between two wings Ermine. This coat of arms was registered in 1713 to Richard Stone of Dublin, who was Master in Chancery. The next blazon is Argent, three Sincufoil Sable, a Chief Azure. This coat of arms was granted to or born by George Stone, born 1708, who was the Archbishop of Armagh in Ireland, and he was the son of Andrew Stone, a London goldsmith. Here we have an oil painting of Bishop George Stone. Next is per pale Oran gules, an eagle displayed with two heads counterchanged. Crest, a spaniel passant argent. This coat of arms was born by Edward Stone, born in the year 1589. He was of Wedmore and Somerset, and he was the son of Edward Stone of the same location. I also have written down here that this was granted to Thomas Stone of Wedmore in Somerset in 1588 and that his brother Edward was a footman to Queen Elizabeth I. Next is Per Pale or Invert, a chevron between three Cornish chose counterchanged quartering Sable a fest between three bears or crest on a rock paley wavy of six argent and azure a salmon proper holding in the mouth a rose gule stalked and leaved vert. This arms was borne by William Stone, Esquire of Trevigo in County Cornwall, who lived in the year 1620 and was the son of Thomas Stone and grandson of John Stone of the same place. Next we have Sable, a chevron and grail between three sinky foils argent, crest, a demi-cockatrice rising argent, winged, or. This coat of arms was granted to Thomas Stone of Framfield, Sussex, on December 4th, 1628. 
Next is gules, a chevron ermine between three lozenges or each charge with an ermine or erminoi spot sable. Crest on a mount for a horse current sable bridled, crined, and hoofed ore. This arms was granted to James Stone of Badbury, Chiseldon, County Wiltshire, and New in London in December 1722. Next is per pale ore and sable, a lion rampant counterchanged crest, a unicorn's head sable issuing from rays ore, maned and armed of the last between two wings displayed of the first. This was found in London and was born by the family of William Stone of Twist. And he had a son named Richard Stone of Carhouse. And Richard married Isabel Girdler and had six sons with her, including Thomas Stone, a London merchant who lived in the year 1634. Next is ore on a pale azure, three escalops of the first. Crest, a seahorse ore, crinned gules, tail proper, holding between the forefeet and escalop gold. This coat of arms was granted to Sir William Stone, who died in the year 1609. He was of London, sometimes an alderman of the city, as well as a fishmonger, and son of Reginald Stone. And we have a poem from his epitaph. Here lies the body of Sir William Stone, knight, cloth worker, son of Reynold Stone, not Reginald. And the poem is as follows. As the earth doth cover, so under the stone lies another, Sir William Stone, who long deceased, ere the worlds love him released. So much it loved him, for they say, he answered death before his day. But tis not so, for he was sought, one of that both him made and bought. He remained the great Lord's treasure, who called him at his pleasure, and received him, yet it said, earth was grieved, and heaven soon was paid. Next is Sable, a fest between three tigers passing ore, crest, out of a ducal coronet ore, a demi peacock, wings expanded, all ore. This coat of arms was granted to John Stone of London and Cliff in County Sussex. Or a chevron gule surmounted of a chevronal argent between three flintstones azure. And this was associated with a stone who was in London. And lastly, in terms of the presentation, gules, an eagle displayed or ducally gorged azure. Again, this is from London. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to learn more about your ancestors and whether or not they owned a coat of arms, or if you'd like to purchase any of the coats of arms in this video in high resolution for $13.99, please visit us at coadb.com, link in the description. Thank you very much.